the third and last part of my EU4 King of Kings Georgia campaign. If you have not seen the first two videos, I will leave the link in the description, so check them out first. And now let's continue this one. So we're currently annexing Iraq. After annexing them, we will complete the mission Cradle of Civilization. We also finished our war with the Ottomans, released Byzantium and Bulgaria. So now we have a lengthy truce for 15 years. But over here, we also have Mushasha that is allied to the Ottomans and our truce with them is only for two years. So what we can realistically do after two years, declare on Mushasha, get brought into a war with the Ottomans, get a white piece with them, and then our truce will be reduced to five years and then we can shortly attack them once more and hopefully take most of the Bulgarian and Byzantine cores back. So now I'll just go ahead and get my units back to my lands still have a lot of provinces to convert 55 percent patriarch authority increases the missionary strength by 1.1 percent but what we can do is get a little bit more by concentrating metropolitans and by the end of this campaign we will need 40 provinces in the state metropolitans to complete the last mission so it's best throughout the campaign to state these metropolitans here we go let's upgrade our diplo technology to level 8 now and we have annexed iraq so let's state these provinces and let's complete the mission Cradle of Civilization plus one base production in Iraq Arabi area, possible number of manufacturers plus one and local development cost modifier minus 5% until the end of the game in this area. I think it's time to take more land rights to get additional governing capacity as we're above the limit. Here we go. Now we can actually state more stuff. And we can also complete our agenda to get additional admin power by just going to our decisions. Because we have this nobility privilege for calling diet, we can call diet and auto-complete the agenda. And then we can upgrade our level 10 admin technology and get another idea group. So I have influence and quality. And for the third ideas, I will go with religious. This will help us convert our nation, get even more manpower, more opinion of the same religion, Deuce will CB at the end, and it has very, very nice policies together with influence and quality. Oh, would you look at that? One stability for the cost of five patriarch authority. And we have increased it quite a lot already, so I'm not worried about losing five. So let's take it, of course. Okay, I don't need this fort in Sinop anymore. It's dryland, it's quite useless to have. And our truce with Mushasha has ended, which means we will be declaring Timurids are in this war as well. Okay, that's annoying. But let's still go for it and let's try and piece out the Ottomans as quickly as we can. I need the best siege guy on their capital, so this one. Oh, he's going in. Okay, okay, bro. I see you. Take this, take a piece of that. And capital is down. Now I want to try to chase this guy. And with this army, we can do a little bit of carpet sieging. Okay. So he's at 42% and I don't think he's gonna help out this army. We can Okay, nice. He actually moved away. That is even better. I don't really care if I lose that battle. Most importantly, he did not get the fort. Yeah, so retreat, boys. Retreat. Let's go somewhere here. Okay, he's crazy. I'm not gonna let him kill my vassal like that. Yeah, get out of here, man. We looted Mushasha. Great. Here we go, we can complete the first religious idea, additional missionary, and we can put him as autonomous so he can automatically convert everything for us. Okay. The Ottoman white piece is here. Awesome. So now we just need to take out the pesky Timurids. Let's improve relations with Bulgaria as well. I'll need to annex these guys eventually. Oh, come on, this timing sucks so much. I don't want to lose this government reform progress. We're so close to the next reform. Ah, screw it, man. I'll just lose the stability. Yeah, let's continue with influence ideas. Diplo relation. Good, good, good. Just this one fort is remaining and I can get the white piece as well. Actually, I might get cash from Timurids. Might push for that. So exactly. If we can take it, why not take it? We can repay our loans and we're currently basically on the 1% loans and this is literally nothing. It just barely increases our inflation. Actually, it's not even increasing right now. So we're completely fine. And now Mushasha, I think I will actually white piece them. Why use them for this truce resetting with Ottomans and they still have this alliance. So perhaps I can even use them the second time. So I just sold titles and there's a little bit of cash that I can spend. Let's get this construction cost reduction. Oh yeah, we also have missionary strengths over here. Let's take them as well. 
and now we can use that money to invest into our nation we can build some churches oh my god this one's paying baby maybe some courthouses as well to avoid further problems with government capacity and here is our tier 5 government reform there are many options of course but none of the options defeat this one reinforce the signax minus 25 percent fort maintenance attrition for enemies recruitment time for defense garrison size and even max hostile attrition there's so many bonuses man this is amazing and i'm not completely sure if this is only available to georgia or to other nations in this region as well like the great armenia and stuff so now we have three years of truce with the ottomans and we can use those three years to fight the mamluks the main thing that i want to take is cairo this whole connection to ottomans as i will need alexandria at some point and i want to get their money and war reps so let me start up this war transoxiana yemen jared fazan basically nothing you boys go over here meanwhile i'll just siege everything over here in egypt good he fell into the trap good luck sieging this man 106 fort defense yeah have fun bro Thirteen thousand manpower and five patriarch authority sure thank you so looks like fazan is occupied by tunis so that's okay that they're helping me and we can go for jared in the meantime so, 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 we got Bukhara and their capital is almost down. As soon as we get Samarkand, I'll take this peace deal. And he's still sieging this fort, man. Oh god, this was the worst decision in his life. Here we go, bro. Give me some of your cash. Warps. And maybe break your alliance with Delhi or something like that. Here we go. Nice little payment from this guy. Kazan is on low, so we can peace them out. Now it's just Yemen's time. And I have decent manpower, so I will work on replacing one of my mercenary groups with regular units. 13 days to recruit a unit in our capital. Jeez. Yeah, actually we're done. I don't need to continue this, so I'm taking all of these provinces and the money that I can take. Boom. Let's concentrate a little bit of development and let's start coring this absolutely beautiful and then we can go and get ready for the war with the ottomans the truce is expiring in just seven months level 10 military just on time so let's take the new cannon type culverins truce is over and i'll be attacking shortly oh perfect just on time we got our first age of reformation ability let's go for 25 percent war score cost versus other religions and we're ready for this war man we can go Let's call in Austria. So Constantinople is no longer a core of Byzantium. And that kind of sucks, but we can go for another one. Actually, let's select one of the Syrian provinces as our target. We can go for like Aleb, why not? And yeah, we're good. Mushasha, Tunis, Sus. We can take out Mushasha right now. I'll start sieging here. If Tunis comes, I'll just retreat with this 1k. Now with this army, let's go on his capital. And let's protect our boy. Mushasha is done. I would once again like a white piece with him. Oh crap, he actually had 13,000. Okay, so I lost this guy. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you're gonna get owned, my friend. Get out of here, man. Bro, he's so annoying. Just leave me alone, jeez. Do I really have to move this army away from Mushasha? I do. Oh my god, this guy. Maybe we can get at 7%. We got it! Yes, we actually got it at 7%. Get out of here, Mushasha, man. On the other hand, this takes 71%. That's crazy. Eski Tunisians, get the hell out of here. Trying to siege Egypt and stuff. The hell do you think you are? Get wiped, mate. Our golden era just ended. But it served us well. Boom! Tunis, white beast. Of course, man. Of course. Good timing, Portugal occupies Sus, so it's also another white piece. We can take the second religious idea. I think let's start investing more into barracks at this point. Maybe church, couple courthouses. Epic, war's done man. Hopefully I can take all of these Byzantine cores and hopefully all of the Syrian cores. Nope, I cannot take all Byzantine cores, but that's fine. So I'm gonna take this exact piece still right here. Send them on. All the Syrian provinces, this one province right here because it was required to enroach on the Mamluks. Now before the next war with the Ottomans, 
we can take this mission and get additional 10% war score cost versus other religions and then we will be able to take even more provinces but for now let's just score this and we can start annexing Syria now oh yes super weak Ottomans I love to see that we have the twice the development of these guys and if we click on Mushasha Ottomans would be joining so how long is that truce it's for another three years so after three years we can fight the Ottomans reset the truce once more and we're gonna keep eating them up like this now actually what I can do before I annex Syria if we go over to age of reformation objectives there is this one to convert another nation so we can go over to our subjects we can enforce religion and they're at 61% so we can just disable divert trade and they're fine so now we unlocked this objective and we will gain even faster splendor and it's important because there are some very very good bonuses here like this institution spread in true faith provinces prestige per development from missionary super good for us because we have religious ideas and now you know we have a little bit of free time lithuania has only karelia as their alliance we can rob them real quick do a quick heist let's go and hungary please give me some ducats later i'll request some soldiers i can use this favor system all the time and request stuff from them do we have a diplo rebe guy um he's level three i think we can afford him this will help us annex syria faster and keep our points flowing okay so we just lost our icon we can get another one and i'm actually gonna continue with the icon of saint michael because the manpower recovery speed is very useful for us right now before the war on siege this province right here yeah sure give some sailors to austria why not and then we can go here and actually maybe let's sell some titles and now that we sold them it's time to build some manufactories in wine producing provinces we will need five of those for the mission so here we go couple of them now we can declare on lithuania really is not even joining oh my god so yeah i did not even need to fight a single battle with these guys the war is done in like a two seconds 99 percent yeah we're done so what do we have here they have a trade center in smolensk let me take max money and i guess we can take something like this i will not take these prices for myself i will probably yeah i will release chernigo this seems like a good enough peace deal so let's go release our new vessel here we go now i don't want to for any of these provinces to be honest so i'll start granting them to our new vessel and one more awesome nothing to worry about and we have a strong strong new body in our system oh i had still mill access with miklov didn't notice that i lost quite a few diplo points i guess it's time to promote a couple new cultures let's go for turkish soon i'll have a lot more turkish provinces uh oh truce with mushasha expired that is not good news for the Ottomans. So let me quickly declare and repeat the same steps basically. Actually, let's barrage this. Perhaps even assault it. Yeah, insanely, insanely quick port, which means we can go to Timurid's lands now. I just called in Hungary into the war because this will create a truce between Hungary and the Ottomans and I did this because Hungary has a bunch of desired permaclaims here in the Ottoman lands and if they get too weak at some point they would declare and take the provinces that I will need or that I want for at least to feed back to Bulgaria later and all right we can take the white piece excellent and another white piece with Mushasha I absolutely love how this is going I think we can reduce a little bit of autonomy as it's been quite a while since I last reduced it and there's so many prices oh my god I've been missing out on lots of income and I really miss the rebels man not even being sarcastic I need the rebels I want to have a higher army tradition plus free missionary strength from religious ideas super super powerful so Muscovy is super loyal at this point I'm gonna improve relations a little bit more and what I can do is siphon income 265 ducats for free I don't plan on integrating them anyways so we can use this money to upgrade our centers of trade okay it's time to get rid of our ruler because he's so trash I would definitely love to have this heir on my throne get out of here man 50 prestige one stability it's worth it at least now we will have reasonable monthly points decent air decent air 
Yeah, another ability unlocked. This time let's go for institutions part, I think. Because I will need to embrace printing press eventually. Now let's take some additional tolerance. Syria has been annexed. So we can core this up. I mean state this up. Guarding capacity, yeah, not looking good, not looking good. I'm just gonna go ahead and grant more land rights. And perhaps invest some of the reform progress. That's much better. Now, level 11 military. I will need to catch up with Diplo. I'm using lots of these points for influence ideas. And for, of course, annexations of the vessels. So temporarily I'll be gaining a little bit of corruption because of unbalanced research. But I will catch up and I won't improve my military for a while now. I'll focus on quality ideas. It's almost time to serve the Ottomans some justice, so I will now complete this mission. And look at that, if we complete this while we are the defender of the faith, we gain 22,000 manpower. Um, I would not be mad at that, so let me become the defender. Enjoy some of these bonuses as well. Actually, let's put this guy as autonomous too. And now, uh, when we complete this awesome, awesome manpower boost. Yeah, let me focus on Diplo at this point. And I need a new advisor. This one sucks. Much better. Call nobility diet. Additional 50 points. So now it's time to serve the Ottomans some justice. Let me get this guy over here first. I'll get a general. Oh, that's not bad. I will begin annexing Byzantium as well. And now I don't want to have that many privileges for nobility. So I believe it's time to remove this nobility right for diet call. Okay boys, I think it's time to go. I will actually call in Hungary. Let's go for reconquest of Philippi. I have set up some troops to kill Mushasha. I set all of these provinces as my vital interest, so hopefully Hungary won't take it. But even if they do, I could always give these provinces to them and take them back using my favors. Or you know, just leave these provinces for the next war. I could do this alone, but it's gonna be easier with Hungary. So yeah, let's go. Let's start sieging this, move to Mushasha, and I will try to target these Bulgarian provinces first. Hopefully my vassals will stick to me, because Ottomans are very strong, surprisingly. Level 12 military, 74,000 units. How can they upkeep that many units? That is always a mystery, but that's just Ottomans in EU4. And plus free stability as well. Yeah, they're just insane. Holy crap, he's not playing around. Hey, hungry, help me out. Help me out, buddy. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got it, we got it. He's moving to Anatolia. Get out of here, guys. Level 9 Diplo. He's actually going so deep, almost near Egypt. So we can get our units back and we can maybe beat this army and then carpet siege whole Anatolia. You guys can come back. And yeah, we basically have all of these provinces. Hungary was not greedy and didn't take it for themselves. Let's barrage this real quick. Actually, we can even assault. And the fort is down. Come here, guys. Come here. Don't you run. I just want to talk. Nice. Let's go. Another 3k down. Holy crap. He's unseizing the capital so quick. We better go now, boys. Okay, good job, hungry. Good job. The wildest thing is that he's actually not losing units. Insanely powerful guy. Hey, I got him. I got him good. Thanks for helping me out, Hungary. And so, this is my peace deal. Remaining cores back to Byzantium. Most of Bulgarian cores. I'm not just taking Vidin because I just can't afford to take it. Because I need five provinces here in Anatolia, including Cyprus. And from one of these provinces, I will be releasing a new vassal. So, let's go with this. Now, we can complete conquer cyprus anatolian incursion go to our diplomacy create a subject and let's release caraman and now the remaining provinces we can start coring yeah hungary was not very happy about this we will need to improve our relations a little bit but i gotta say we're looking quite magnificent it's time to siphon a bit more income from muscovy let's use that money for another manufactory Disorder, huh? Oh my god. They just find unique ways to take my stability away. What the hell, Hungary? You're serious? You need my help versus Livonian order. Such a waste of time, man. 
Byzantium has been annexed. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I really need to get my prestige up as then I can upgrade my rank to Empire and basically fix my problems with the governing capacity. So soon I'll get uh, this bonus from Age of Reformation and it will help me boost my prestige. Oh, what's that? Is our truce with Mushasha over? Yes, it is. So just in a second, we will be declaring another war and resetting the truce with Ottomans once again, as it's for 12 years now. We're gonna cut it short. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's declare not a holy war, just a conquest because I don't want to fight battles. I want to earn war score from having this province. So let's begin. Get my units here and let's start carpet sieging here in Anatolia. Just like that. My aim, once again, is just to get a super quick white piece with Ottomans. Oh, crap, he's over here. Run, boys, run. Oh, you're screwed, my boy, you're screwed. They're not gonna be on time. Oh, they were on time. But anyways, we wrecked them. Now let's get out of here. I'm ready to take the white piece. Bird ability is ready, definitely going for this prestige boost. Let's take this peace deal, I don't want to continue this war because I want to start annexing Bulgaria, so let's just improve a little bit more. Hungary, are you mad? Yeah, they're a bit mad, so what we can do is get this diplomat back and get some trust by trading favors. There we go, that should do. Level 12 and new unit type, let's go for offensive musketeers. Now my Diplo Rebel Guy died, that kinda sucks. Oh well, I'll just use the trade efficiency one, I kinda wanna save up a little bit more cash. Yeah, we can reduce bunch of autonomy because we haven't done so after we annexed Byzantium. There will be rebels spawning in Byzantium, so I'll get one of the armies over there. Let's begin annexing Bulgaria. It's gonna be done in 5 years, so not that much of a time. Another religious idea done. Subjugation casts belly on Nogai and that will give plus one Diplo reputation. Um, let's actually go for this. They are very, very weak, allied with Timurids and Chagatai. I don't mind having another vassal like that. Yeah, with each converted province we're gaining like 7 or 8 prestige is insane. Did I just click to convert manually? Come on, I need to get used to this autonomous conversion because it's amazing. So let's go for our subjugation war real quick. Now guys suffering with a rebel infestation, I'll help you out my boy. Don't you worry, you're in safe hands. Get out of here. Rebels. Holy crap, he has a lot of them. Hopefully I can avoid killing his units, would love him to keep them. Okay, we're pretty much done with the Timurids. Now it is just Chagatai left. We are earning 40 ducats per month. So I'm just spamming workshops. I'm spamming courthouses. Just every type of building. And yeah, we have 10 provinces that have less than 1 building slots remaining. And because of this, we can complete the mission a Legacy of the Builder. Triples the chance of our rulers and heirs having minus 10% construction cost trade. All provinces in Emirati, Samchke and Kartli areas will receive a Legacy of the Builder plus 1 possible number of buildings until the end of the game. Beautiful mission. And we're getting closer to completing this whole, whole mission tree. Maybe let's actually... Assultis, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got this fort. This guy is coming. Very close to the white piece, so I just... I don't really need to go for this capital, which is quite far away. I can just siege down a few provinces and I should be able to get it. Awesome, we got it. So, let's take our subjugation. No one cares about this, man. Mushasha, Ottomans, Timurids, Transoxiana. We have truces with these guys. And other ones that are just miners, man. And all the wise people know, man, aggressive expansion is just a number. I think we're doing just fine. So this guy is gonna be a bit unhappy for a while, but we will need to just improve relations and we'll get him to become a loyal puppy. And now we can upgrade to Empire. Boom, all Caucasian culture nations are assimilated. Gurning capacity is looking beautiful once again. We completed the agenda, of course, and received plus one Diplo rep that will help us annex Bulgaria even quicker. And now it's time to get our boys next to Anatolian provinces. Oh, I like this advisor. I like him a lot. I will be getting him right now. Uh, have some leftover cash. I will probably use it to build up a bit more units. A bit more. 
and you can send me some ducats. Religious ideas are done, 20% manpower recovery speed, and permaclaims against all neighboring herons and heretics. Concentrate more metropolitans, yep. Because yeah, as I mentioned, we will need 40 provinces for this mission right here. We have 23 at this point. Fair trade, fair trade. Oh yeah, we finished annexation of Bulgaria. A few more units for me. We had some ships as well, that's cool. Let's make sure to put these into states. And also reduce the autonomy just right before the war. Um, Austria, are you fine? Religious League and they want us to help. Yeah, buddy. I don't think so. So, enjoy. And I'm gonna enjoy my holy war versus the Ottomans. Not going for the reconquest this time. There's not that many cores that I can retake. So I'll just prioritize on taking direct provinces for myself. And it's gonna be 25% cheaper. Not Will not need to pay additional diplo points for the peace deal. So let's go like that. Holy crap, these guys love access. Love requesting access. Looking good, boys. Um, Tunis is doing something nasty in Egypt. I'll go after him after I finish the Mushasha siege. I gotta say, this video is just basically me destroying Ottomans over and over. But that's what you gotta do as Georgia to complete the mission tree. What can I say? Holy crap, this fort fell so quickly. And Mushasha is down, so... Tunis, bad news for you. Okay, 56% war score already. Damn, he's unsieging so quickly. Oh god, I'm not gonna be on time here. And he didn't get it at 21%. Surprising, I gotta say, surprising. But that's amazing for me. Come back here, come back here. I actually went all the way through to Tunis's capital and then I realized that this army is exiled. So yeah, I'm moving back and then I'm gonna go again. I'll need a general for this guy too, so let's get one now. Let's just say pretty good general. Yeah, we got him. We caught him. Awesome, awesome. Another 4% war score. Get this general. And he's gonna be stuck here on this island, so I can just leave a one stack and protect that army, basically. Well, Tunis is not gonna have much fun. Yeah. Get destroyed, son. Another age ability. Let's go for ship trade power now. I have a lot of cash and I have a few loans, so I'm gonna start repaying those. 99% war score, that's it, we are done. So let me take Constantinople, this province right here. You can give me Alexandria at this point. I'll need 5 provinces in this area right here, including Sugla. And I'm avoiding taking any Karaman provinces. Or you know, we can afford taking one. So let's take this one Karaman province. And yeah, we're good to go. Let's finish this war. So now we have completed a bunch of stuff. First of all, let's placate this guy. He's now gonna be happy. Yes, claim the holy city. Empire's downfall. Uh, these missions offer bonuses, temporary bonuses, such as siege ability, military tactics. So it's probably best to save them just before starting a fresh war, but I'm gonna click them anyways. In your case, if you go for this campaign, you can be a bit more considerate with stuff like this. Now, to complete Light of the East, we need to state metropolitan some of these provinces. I would like to get Egyptian culture promoted, but what do I get rid of? Um, I could get rid of Azerbaijani, I guess. Yeah, let's promote Egyptian now. Another thing is that Constantinople costs a lot to core. There is this option. You can go to decisions. If you have all the needed provinces which I lack add-ons, then you can restore the Byzantine Empire and gain a core on Constantinople and then you save 200 points. But there's the downside of it because you're not gonna complete the remaining missions and for example you definitely want to complete a beacon of Christendom in my opinion because it offers until the end of the game worse score cost versus other religions. So I would say it's uh, not a good choice to get that free core on Constantinople. I think it's better to core it yourself. So I'm gonna core it even though it's very expensive and I cannot concentrate. Yeah, let's core it. Core this province. Actually, probably we can't concentrate anything here. Uh, we can concentrate here, okay. And it's a little bit cheaper. Sure, let's see some lands. Repay one of these loans that I had. 
For my agenda, I will need to build a marketplace, so let's get to building it right now. And awesome, awesome, awesome. We're basically, basically almost done with Anatolia here. One or two more wars remaining. Yeah, a bit of rebels are spawning because we're above 100% overextension. It's not gonna take a lot of time for us to manage this because we're gonna finish the course shortly. Influence ideas are done. And we have a new policy available. It's culture conversion cost. I'm not gonna go for this right now. I don't plan to convert any points. I don't have diplo points. I'm really looking forward to finishing my military ideas and then these policies are gonna be amazing. Since we have finished coring Constantinople, we no longer will have problems with the rebels. And not only that, we can complete the throne of the Romans. Perma claims on Bulgaria, Macedonia, Greece and so on. And until the end of the game, tolerance of true faith and yearly legitimacy as well. We move our culture to the Byzantine culture group and unlock a decision to move our capital to Constantinople. The Phoenix rises, boys. Let's go. We can upgrade the center of trade and sure, let's move our capital. It's free production, base tax and manpower and local development cost bonus. Now I'm gonna go for the development icon. Let's concentrate more metropolitans. Get another mill idea. Oh wow, Austria is doing well versus France. And France is quite weak, I gotta say. England still has all of these provinces over here. They even took Picardy and Brittany still exists. They're allied with France. Okay, so they're quite crippled. Unlike Portugal, they're feasting here in North Africa and they even have one Granadese province. Andalusian, should I say. So, our truce is about to expire once again. And that means, of course, we will be punishing poor Mushasha again. Poor, poor Mushasha, bro. They've been abused and used all this game. Okay, let's go, buddy. Whoa, Austria passed 5th reform. Impressive. Ottoman's capital got looted. Diplo annexation cost, oh man. But only for 10 years, okay. Yeah, here's our white piece. Sweet. So after 5 years, we're coming back, Ottomans. You have some time to get ready. Metropolitan here. Metropolitan there. And mission completed. A light of the east. Morale of armies plus 10%. Army tradition plus 50%. Until the end of the game. And we gain basilicas in three of the provinces. Developing orthodox provinces now has 10% chance to grant one additional development. And perma claims on Egypt. And this allows us to also complete beacon of Christendom. War score cost versus other rel religions. Opinion of country from other of the same religion plus 20. 10 randomly owned orthodox princes will receive one bonus military development. And because we complete this mission while we own 100 provinces of orthodox religion, the modifier will be enhanced by 10% manpower in true faith provinces. Huge, huge, huge boost. And honestly, I would say this is really enough. Completing th this mission is enough before forming Byzantine Empire and enjoying their new mission tree. But for the purpose of this video, I will only be completing this whole mission tree and I won't be completing the Byzantine missions. I guess while we're waiting, we can start us using some of these Muscovy claims and perhaps give them more provinces from Novgorod over here. So we can declare this war and basically let Hungary and Muscovy do, do all the work. I declared on Karelia too. They're a one province minor. 67 days to take this fort. Beautiful. Um, Chagatai would not be joining. I guess we can go for Kazan too. Um, why not? Why not? And so Sweden is out. That's a lot of cash. Jeez, we could have gone a bit further. Muscovy can enjoy all of these Novgorodian provinces. I have concentrated enough metropolitans to complete patchwork of all Georgia. Depending on which option you choose here, you get a temporary bonus. I'm actually quite happy with this construction cost and time. And yeah, concentrating metropolitans now gives minus 10% local development cost as well. So what we have left is we need to develop a couple of these provinces where we built the manufactories with diplo points and we also have fortify caucasia we will need to be building fort level 4 
and also improve these provinces three times. And this fort we unlock at level 14 military, so still a bit way to go for me. Muscovy, 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 you can enjoy a peace deal like this, boy. Let me seize some more lands to get to 30%. And let's get back to Anatolia because our war will be starting shortly. I gotta say, our map looks amazing after these conquests. Holy crap, we own so much of lands. And we're, of course, nearing 2000 development. Now, how about we start completing the Wineyards mission? This has been improved three times, okay. This one has not been improved, so let's start improving it. We got two development for one. Oh man, I love these missions. Only one province remaining. And yeah, we can use one of these provinces. So let's get the edict. And boom. We have completed the mission Georgian Wineyards. Bonus one, Diplo Development. To every province which fulfills the requirements. Local unrest, local goods produced. And building manufacturers and wine provinces now gives additional development. That's it, we only have one mission remaining, so I will bring you back once it's done. Yeah, I will need one more ward to make my borders prettier. But now let's concentrate a little bit of development and core this up. Okay, my loans are much bigger since the last time I took burger loans. So I will repay those, take new burger loans and I will begin spamming a lot of buildings. Ask for contribution. Let's take the icon for additional 10% construction cost and let's get more cord houses. Let's go spam them. That's about right. Let's upgrade the center of trade as well. And with the remaining cash, repay one loan. The last quality idea finished. Plus one Diplo reputation, artillery combat ability. We have unlocked our 20% infantry cost reduction. And of course, we have these new, new amazing policies, siege ability, morale damage, and even income from vassals and diplo annexation cost. Let's go. Now we can start annexing Karaman, but before that, let's go here and change their religion. Then placate a couple times and start annexing him because now he loves us. Alliance with Austria? Nah, man, I don't need that. We can siphon more income, 400 decades for free, and use that to improve the harbors, why not? Wait a moment. No, Mushasha no longer has an alliance with Ottomans. I did not notice that before, but how can we abuse them now? I guess I'll just wait a little bit because I'm still waiting for printing press and I need to get more, two more military levels, so I'm not in a rush. Let me get tier 6 government reform this time, I'm gonna go for diplo rep and improve relations. And actually, I think it's about time we break this alliance. I no longer want to have any allies. Let's get some additional rivals instead. You know, Austria is unsuccessful when they have Flanders as their junior partner instead of something like Burgundy, Hungary, Bohemia. And we're basically done with annexation of Caraman. He's a bit unhappy. Let's remove Divert Trade. Yep, it's ours. Truce with Mushasha expired. Oh man, this will be my last war versus them. Oh god, I'm so gonna miss these guys. The last goodbye, my friend. Institution has spread enough for me to embrace it. So yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more money. Take a couple loans. Let's embrace it now. And let's upgrade our technologies. Get these edicts away. New units, of course. So, while I'm still waiting for my truce with the Ottomans to run out in another 5 years, I'm gonna do a quick war versus Hungary because I wanna connect my provinces and have a little bit nicer of borders. So, let's go with cleansing of heresy and let's take some lands from these boys. Thank you, thank you. Come here, my friend. Welcome, buddy. So here's our 14th level, let's take a couple quick loans because I want to get a few forts. So let's upgrade, uh, yeah let me cancel this building and let's upgrade the castle here, here, over here and here. Uh, it was cheap so I guess I didn't really need the loans. Uh, but anyways, let's spend the extra money on state houses, select these hussars. Seed Ardalan to ourselves, uh, yeah, we can do that. And time to barrage a little bit. 
he's basically focusing Muscovy and Chernigov here. So I have all their lands for myself. Let's go and siege all of their forts. He even hired Venetian army. This guy, man. Come here, boy. Destroyed. He's going for Constantinople. Sure, you can go for that. Perhaps I can get Naples out of the war. If we barrage this... Now, I don't know where his army exactly is. He has 12k here. And I don't see his other units. Does he have anything else? Uh, that's basically it. So, we're free to assault him here. Sweet. So, he's done. Saxony probably should be out too. Yes. Give me a little bit of money. Maybe warps? Nah. Okay. So it's just us versus Hungary now. The war is close to being finished. Okay, fine. I don't need anything else. I'm just gonna take whole Wallachia and Moldova from them. To make our borders a little bit prettier. Now let's score our new provinces. And wait a couple more years until we can attack the Ottomans. For the last time. And yes, we can go ahead and I guess complete our last mission too. Encourage development. This province we need to improve once. Then we need to improve this fort over here. And yes, here we go. Fortify Caucasia. Unlocks mountain fortifications nobles privilege. And it grants 35% local development cost to all mountain provinces with a fort. Insane, insane privilege. That's it boys. We have completed the whole mission tree. Let's take this new privilege. It's amazing. We can see some lands too. Dude, in this province we have 140% fort defense. And we don't even have the edict. We don't even have the advisor. And no defensive ideas. Oh god. I think with all of those combinations it would be around 200%. Oh, my choice with Ottomans is over. I've built some more galleys for this. Chadmiral. Good. I think let's go for it now. Holy War, it's Tunis, Adal, Molva, and of course the Ottomans. I've set up my units like this, so we can take... Oh yeah, first I need my navy over here. So we can take all of their provinces, basically. Go here, go here. I have 30 boys over here. So they can take these four provinces and of course go for Tunis. Now we're free to go here. Um, He has this 30k stack, I don't really like that. It's his whole army, okay. And for this I only need 9 guys, so... Yeah, we could just leave 9 dudes over here. Navy defeated. Chase him, chase him, chase him, boys. Take this, son. Or war score, nice. Oh, he's trying to recruit army. He's going for the clutch. Nah, you're. that's not happening, buddy. What? Oh, Adal, 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 oh god. Okay, so he's gonna get these couple of units. That's not cool. This sucker, man. Okay, Tunis is pretty much done. I barraged his fort and now I just need to occupy a couple more provinces. Yeah, let's get the edicts disabled. Thank you very much for the reminder. Get out of here, Tunis boy. It's time for you to die, my friend. Oh man, when is he gonna get destroyed? You guys can siege everything, please. Nice, I finally stack wiped him. Now can we get Adal out? Because he's super annoying. He's sieging down whole Egypt, man. Who do you think you are? And how the hell is he so big? I just realized. He ate whole Ethiopia. Okay, he has 65k units. Maybe I'm underestimating him a little bit. Meanwhile, these guys here should be fine. We have Fars' help. To be honest, I could just build a stronger army and stop worrying about all this. Noise fort down. What do we need to piece him out? Just a little bit more war score, so I guess a few occupations should do. Oh damn, he's going in. Nice, that's actually enough. The last of the Ottomans are dying. And they were last seen in Travik. They no longer exist because they have... Oh, they still have 11k. Where? Bro, I thought that's the last army. Are they keeping them in the ships or what? Anyways, 92%. I think I'm not gonna bother dealing with Adal. Let's get the peace deal, man. So give me the last two remaining provinces I needed in the Anatolia. All these islands, Cephalonia, and let's go. We are done here. 
That is it, boys. We completely crippled the Ottomans. We completed the whole Georgian mission tree. We have a large army. First greatest power, of course, with 2.5k development nearly. And if we look into the player map mode, we own a lot more than it looks. Because we have large vassals Fars, Chernigov and a huge Muscovy. So yeah, with this done, what we can do, of course, is go to our decisions and restore the Byzantine Empire. And the crazy thing about this is we collected all of these insane bonuses from our mission tree like war score cost versus other religions, permanent morale of armies, bonuses that will give us random development when we develop our provinces, 35% development cost reduction, privilege and we have access to the new Byzantine mission tree. We have the new ideas which in my opinion are better than Georgian ideas. I think that's a fact, not really an opinion. But yeah, so we have this new mission tree. And with the amount of expansion that I've done, I'm pretty sure I could complete this like 40% maybe of this whole mission tree just by clicking these missions right now. But this is where my run ends. You guys asked in the comments and I gave you the full Georgian experience. There are a lot more nations for me to cover. So I'm gonna start a campaign with another nation. If you enjoyed this three-part series of Georgia, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.